Hello, this is Sir Cuddles, and I'm going to show you how to make your own custom henchman in Divinity Original Sin, an uh, old-school Baldur's Gate style RPG that recently came out. The way I'm adding this mod is a little ugly, but it works. It doesn't break your game, and it's retroactive, so you can keep your existing saves. Um, in the future, there will probably be a better way to do this, but for now, it's uh, this is the way to do it. It's just editing some text files. Uh, it's very easy, and I'll show you all how to do that. Um, first, just to show, these are my henchmen here. Uh, Famine and Downfall that I've added and made custom. And these are the two main characters that you start the game with. So my entire party is exactly as I want it to be. Okay, so you're going to need a few things to get this done. Uh, an advanced text editor like Notepad++, Sublime Text, uh, anything like that will really help. You can open these files in regular Notepad, but the formatting is a mess because there's no white space and I wouldn't recommend it. Notepad++, you can find it on Google and it's free. Uh, so I'd suggest using that if you don't have anything already. Uh, your Divinity install directory, which is Steam Apps Common Divinity by default. And these three links will be in the description. And they're going to give you all the information you need uh, that I pulled out of the game files. Um, to get everything set up because the skills don't actually use the skill names in the files. Uh, for the, the talent Far Out Man, for example, you have to add Far Out Dude into the skills. Uh, this is a bunch of templates that I made. Um, it affects the starting gear that the character has. So you can just sort of grab one of these and uh, just start editing with that and I'll show you how to do that. And also this picture just gives you the visuals of all the different presets for henchmen. There are le much less presets for henchmen than there are main characters. You cannot make, at least right now, a henchman look like a main character would. Um, but I'll go over this once we get to uh, creating the actual henchman. Okay, so let's go through making your own custom henchman. So we're going to start in character creation henchman presets, uh, which is a folder you should have made. And we're going to add a .lsx file. If you don't have extensions, uh, file extensions shown in Windows, you're going to need to enable that. You can use Google to find out how to do that. Otherwise, it'll save as a .lsx, .txt, and it won't load or work properly. So open that file in Notepad++ or whatever. And we're going to start with a template. So we're going to go over here and copy this entire template over and paste it in. So this is what the henchmen look like in-game uh, in terms of their code. Up here has all the class and equipment descriptions. These will change based on the templates uh, that you're using. I haven't messed with any of this. I'm sure you can give them custom gear and stuff like that, but I haven't bothered with any of that. Uh, below, you have the ability list, the attribute list, the skills list, and the talents list. These are all edited the same way. Uh, so I'll just explain it once. Um, if you want to remove one, you need to start with the node ID section and go down to slash node. So this entire block is what you want to add or remove. And that goes the same down here for attributes um, and skills and talents. You start at the node ID equals and you end at the slash node. So if I don't want this wizard to have any strength. I highlight this whole strength node and get rid of it. She now doesn't get any bonus to strength. So the value that you put in here for the attributes is found over in this list. Now um, I data mined these myself from the game files. As far as I know they're all accurate. So this is the ability as you see it in game. And this is going to be the code that you want to add. Uh, the things to watch out for are basically expert marksmen, for example. You have to add ranger lore. So if I was going to make this character a level 5 expert marksman, I'd copy an existing node just so we don't have to do that ourselves. And I'd change the value to ranger lore. And I'd change the value to level 5. The value is the, the level of this skill. 
an earth specialist, for example, is Geomancer. Um, lore Master, some of them are uh, the same. But make sure you're using these codes correctly. And that goes the same for attributes. Each attribute, the value is the amount added to the base. So this isn't the amount that they have, it's the amount that gets added to the base of the class. So if you're trying to line up your attributes with your main characters, like at level 5 I think you have 37 total points, um, you may need to do some math to get it exact if you don't want to have you know a character that's super overpowered. Um, you can put any number here, you can put 999 and it works. Um, it's ridiculous in game but it does work. And again, adding and removing is the same. You just there you go. They they no longer have any decks. Um, henchmen are, I'm not sure if it's bugged or a feature, but if you've already hired two henchmen, all the other henchmen that you hire uh, have nerfed starting attributes. I don't know why. I think it's only about five points total. Um, but just watch out for what attributes you end up with in-game once you've added and leveled the henchmen that you added. Now down here it has all the visual stuff for the henchmen, uh, as well as their level, um, which I like to set at level 1 and just level them in game manually, but you don't have to do that. You can set them as whatever you want. Uh, their name, uh, make sure you change this so they don't have a stupid name. Um, and the hair color, hair type, head type, icon, and skin color, you can all choose with the help of this uh, preset visual that I made. So the way this works is these numbers, all these pictures and portraits that you see here, were all made with head, skin, hair, and um, icon, all set to these numbers. So if I want a character with white hair, I would look over here and see, okay, 11 hair color is that white. So we go over to hair color and we set it to 11. And then let's say I want uh, this face, which is head type. So this is 7. So I'm going to set the head type to 7. And let's say I want her to have this insane Skrillex haircut, which coincidentally is also down here. I'm going to set it to the uh, hair type, sorry, to 2. So there are duplicates in here, but the reason there's a listing of 19 is because there's 19 portraits, and I wanted people to be able to see all the portraits, which is icon, is where your portrait is. Uh, so we have the white Skrillex hair monster. So we're going to set a portrait of, I don't even know what, maybe this one. This is 17. And that's all you need to set in here. Uh, the is male flag, zero is a girl, and one is a boy. If you know what a Boolean is, that makes a lot of sense to you. So below that, we have the skills and the talents. And again, you're going to need to use this list here. Over here are all the skills in the game for every um, magic type. Now, I did notice that you can also add items. Uh, you can add, if you add one of these arrows, so if stun arrow, projectile underscore stunning arrow, it will give you that ability as an actual ability. There's no consumable involved. So if you want to role play like a fire archer, you should probably want to add projectile fire arrow. So you have the fire arrow ability and you don't have to keep buying consumables. Um, and again, this is the name of the ability and this is how you add it in game. So if I want to add, let's say I want to add acid breath. So cone underscore ooze spray is the code. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to the skills. I'm going to copy an existing one and I'm going to change the value instead of targeted oil surface which is midnight oil. I'm going to change that to cone underscore Ooze spray, and you need to get the. You should probably just copy and paste it because you need the spelling and the cap capitals uh, correct, and that's it. So now this character has. They have midnight oil like they always did, and they also now have uh, acid, acid breath. Now they do have to, your henchmen do have to have the correct abilities 
um, in the right classes in order to use these skills. If you add a ranger skill to a character that doesn't have any points in ranger, it's going to tell you that you've unlearned that ability. Um, so make sure you're, they're set up correctly. Uh, and I also want to point out this projectile underscore unlock magic will give you the spell unlock magic, which as far as I know is only an item consumable, but you can add it as an actual skill if you choose to. Talents um, are the exact same. This is what it displays in game. And this is the code you need to use to add it. Some of these codes have very weird names, and I didn't test every single one 100%. Um, I assume that walk it off is walk it off. There's always a chance that it isn't. Um, but there are some very weird ones like glass cannon. This one I tested personally. Racelin. I'm sure that's something, but I don't know what that is. But that will give you glass cannon. So if I want to add glass cannon, I copy an existing talent. And I add Racelin. So now this character will have the glass cannon ability. And this ability right here, I haven't seen in game. I don't know if it was removed or disabled or it's bugged, but it's called Mac the Knife and it gives you uh, an AP bonus with daggers. You can only get that on a character by editing it into here. So that's something to consider if you want to have that on your rogue. That's a henchman. You may want to add that. Uh, Staff of Magus was just patched today, so all henchmen have that uh, before you could have also added it through here. I actually think you may be able to add any ability in the game to your characters using this, but uh, haven't done enough testing with that, so I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so just to show our henchmen in game that we had been messing around with earlier, here is Awesome Dude, the level 3 wizard. They have the hair and everything that we set and they have all the stats that we set she's an expert marksman as you can tell by looking at her she has glass cannon and she has acid breath that we added and make invisible all the stats that we wanted okay so now we're in the game when you start up you're gonna get this error because we've altered the main game uh, it just lets you know that that is the case and it's going to disable multiplayer. In the future I'm sure there's going to be a way around this but for now you're stuck in single player once you have that enabled. Although I'm fairly sure that you can then delete the files after you've recruited your henchmen and it won't be a problem. Now like I said the list does bug out sometimes and you might not be able to find them or the list may get stuck in a loop. In that case rename the file and Bye. see if it works. Um, is pretty much the only way to do it. See, I'm stuck in a loop here. So if you can't find your henchman in the list, or you get stuck in a loop, or you can't go backwards, which sometimes also happens, rename the .lsx file of your henchman to something else and see if it shows up by reloading the game. I haven't found a correlation between file names and what shows up and what doesn't. It seems to be sort of hit and miss, so just try a different name. I don't know why it happens, and I don't know what the fix is, but the first time you load a save, I've just loaded this save here, my henchmen do not look like the way I set them up. Um, well, she kind of does, but this bearded guy is not the way Famine looks. The fix is to teleport somewhere that forces the game to actually reload everything. If you just teleport to another waypoint, it doesn't work, but as you can see, he no longer has a beard. He's back to the way he's supposed to look, the way that I made him. I'm not sure why this bug happens, uh, but teleport somewhere else and then go back, and it will keep the correct appearance until you reload a save again. So that's everything you need to know about making your own henchman in Divinity. Um, there are a few bugs, but they're not that big if having your own totally custom characters is important to you. Uh, so hopefully I've shown you all how to do that. Feel free to stop by my Twitch channel, which is uh, slash the Cuddles. I'm streaming this game quite a bit, and if you have any questions or anything, you can answer them there. I don't use YouTube comments because they suck dick. If you're interested in learning more about modding Divinity, uh, the official forums has a mod section 
that has a lot of people trying to figure it all out and get stuff up and running. So feel free to pop by there as well. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the video and have fun making your own henchmen.